Hi guys, I just wanted to make a quick video showing you what you can do with the little Christmas add-on for the character builder. Here I have some examples. I created this little girl portrait. And what I want to show you is that you can actually print this out and make super cute cards for, you know, to give away. Or if you make a family portrait, you can print that and have it, you know, in your house as a decoration. So I just wanted to show you the extras. They look like this. And I want to explain these ones on the right. They are the backgrounds. So if you look at this girl, she's sitting like on the background. And that's what these are. They come little, but of course you can grow them as big as you need so that's what they do and then some of these images you can change the color but this time i mixed a lot you know image and handwriting or ink so for example this sweater is both image so if i tap and hold and click on edit i can move the image away but below it there is the ink that i can change the color okay so the idea here is that you can change the color okay of the sweater but still have this cute design so i'm still seeing how this turns out mixing image and ink but i think it's a great idea and so everything that's included with the add-on is this nice suit and this is actually two pieces so the jacket and the pants for men but you can modify the color of both of them at the same time and the suit jacket has like a an overlay so that it will always be darker than, than the pants so even if you pick the same color it'll look a little bit different now same thing with this present here it has a mixture of ink with an image so for example if i change the color again it has a part that stays darker and one that stays lighter even if the whole thing changes to whichever color i pick same thing with this shopping bag or presents bag you can change the color and it still has the parts that are image and they will stay the same the christmas tree is also really cute you can also change the background color and you can change the start there are separate images so you can set the mood for your scene and why not you can draw in some decorations using your ink As I said, it's a world of possibilities and I really like the fact that you can make your own portraits. You can even give this out as greeting cards, thank you cards. Now, if you're turning this into like a greeting card, you can just add the words using your text tool that says Merry Christmas. And... and you have created your very own greeting card. What I'm gonna do to print out these cute images that I've created is, I will provide you guys with a sheet that will be letter size, so you know how to place the elements and so you can send it straight to your printer. So I'm going to give you this image that I have right here. Now you can bring your character or your scene here. I'm gonna cut it. Okay, and now you know that this is letter size and if I want to print a second one, I just swipe and release and that's going to copy that last page and then I'm going to bring this scene. I just have to make sure to copy all of the elements Then I go to my new page, paste and this one I'll show you, I'll place it a little bit lower here so that I can Maybe fold this and turn it into a greeting card that folds. Okay, now I'm going to go to my squares, select on these last two pages and export as a PDF. If you guys have the option, just send straight to printer from here, but I don't, mine is not working right now. So I'm actually going to airdrop it to my computer and I'm gonna print from there. Okay, so here I have my two scenes printed. I'm gonna trim them down a little bit. And there I have it. This is a little bit bigger. Maybe the next one I make would be smaller. Maybe I would have two in, the, in one sheet instead of just one. 
but I think it's pretty cool. And actually, if you create a character, let's say your son or you know a family member, uh, I could frame this. It's pretty cool. And now for the second one, I'm gonna try to be exact. Okay, so it should work now, I think. So I'm just gonna fold it in half. We have a scoring tool and a ruler that's better, but I don't right now. So anyway, I just folded this in half and now I have my own greeting card that I can open and write something inside. You see how versatile this character builder can be with a little creativity? You can really create a ton of cool stuff. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Share with your friends, the crafty ones that would like to do something like this. And if you have any questions, drop me a comment. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.